A typical sun visor is held in place by this rod and a barrel mechanism hidden underneath the cloth of your sun visor. Over the years, especially if you have an earlier model GX, you're going to discover that the rod assembly holding up your sun visor gets weak and can no longer hold up the weight of your sun visor. This video is about the removal and installation of a new sun visor. But if you happen to pick up a used one, make sure you test the rigidity of the rod assembly by holding on to the bracket plate right here and moving it back and forth. It should be very tight when you try to adjust it. Do not use this white bracket right here and hold on to this while you're testing it. It will break. It's very fragile. Okay. You also want to take a look at these two brackets right here. These two towers are the power and ground towers. You make sure that these are not broken or cracked before you make a purchase of a used sun visor. The only tools you're going to need is a standard Phillips screwdriver, a standard flathead, and it'd be a good idea if you wore a pair of gloves because the felt on the sun visors get dirty very easily. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go straight to the vehicle, to the driver's side sun visor, and you're going to look up here, you're going to see a plastic base plate that has a slit in it. You're going to take a flathead screwdriver, you're going to put it in between the slit and you're going to pop the left side out. You're going to go back to the right side and you're going to pop the right side out. Now that both sides are loose, you're going to push the whole entire base plate towards you. To make the job easier, you're going to bring the sun visor down in order to remove this base plate. Just bring it out through the slit. And there you go. The base plate assembly is held on with two Phillips screws, one towards the driver and one towards the windshield. We're going to remove both of them. Make sure your sun visor is held in with this clip over here so it holds the weight while you're removing the screws so the whole entire thing doesn't fall on you. Once the two screws are out, you're going to take the whole entire sun visor, hold its weight, bring the sun visor down, take it out of its assembly and you can go ahead and unclip this side. This is what it's going to look like. Once you bring your sun visor to the vehicle, you're going to want to take your base plate right here and affix it to a 90 degree angle to your sun visor. Right here and right here. Just like that. You're going to take this large tower right here and make it face you and the short towers right here will face the windshield. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the bracket and plug it into the vehicle. Plug it straight in. Once you plug it straight in, take your other hand and clip it on to this clip right here. Once you clip it on, you're going to want to take your first screw, put it on a Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and tighten it in slowly. I don't recommend you using a power drill. You don't want to cross thread this and just go it in by hand. Just like this. I put it in about 75%. I'm going to go ahead and give myself some room by holding onto the base plate and moving the sun visor towards me so I have more room in the back. Once I gain more access in the back, I'm going to go ahead and put in the second screw. You can go ahead and screw it in 100% since the first screw has already 75% thread in it. Now that your second screw is already in complete, you're going to want to flip your sun visor back towards the windshield and go ahead and tighten the first screw in 100%. Tight and snug. The last portion of your install is this base plate. It's plastic base plate. There's no secret formula to any clips or anything in the back. It's just all ridges just like that. It will snap right into place. 
you're going to take the slit portion of it and place it towards the windshield. Now you're going to take your thumbs and you're going to snap the back portion in place and just move it along until you snap the front portion in place. Move the sun visor towards you just to get the other part of it snapped in and you're done. Voila. All right. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's, it's really great to be back. I've been gone for almost a month now. I was on the other side of the planet visiting Singapore and Vietnam. I also noticed that some of you were following my adventures on Instagram. Um, all I can say is it was an unbelievable adventure and it was more of a surprise on how many Lexus GXs I have seen over there in a third world country under the Toyota badge. I actually took some videos and some pictures. I'm going to add them to this clip right after this and uh, so you can see for yourself. All right. Enjoy life, my friends. Peace. GX Bob.